Esports has taken the world by storm. A booming industry, competition is especially popular among young people and on college campuses. With the establishment of one of the first club esports programs among Division I institutions, Northeastern has positioned itself to become a leader in collegiate esports. Esports is the transformation of the gaming trend that's been expanded and now it's turned into a professional, organized level activity. The advances in technology have now allowed people to play and connect through the internet, through live streaming technology, through tournament management software. It's essentially the transformation of video game playing to an organized professional sport. I was first introduced to the eSport organization when uh, Jeff Kanye, the athletic director, gave me a call and let me know I was assigned to the eSport initiative. And from then, you know, I really had to kind of do a lot of research and, and, and looking into what it was and, and how I was going to integrate this into Northeastern. I helped start part of the eSports program. My sophomore year of college, I saw a post go up on Reddit, and it was just this community organization that was looking for students in college to start playing intercollegiate games against you know, makeshift teams. And then over the summer, it was announced that there was going to be like an official collegiate Rocket League event in the fall. And we ran into the competitive Overwatch group, which then we merged with them. And that became what is now the eSports club on campus today. And since then, we launched successfully six club sports under six different game titles. Now we're at a point where we have easily hundreds of people that are involved on a casual level, you know, attending events that we may put on and many that are here to play competitively against other schools. Currently we have like 650, I think, people in our Discord channel, which is not necessarily all students, but people who are also from outside who are just involved in the community and want to hear about Northeastern and our esports program in general. Immediately we saw how much the students were taking to this by just the, the sign-ups. I remember the fall sign-ups. There was over 200 people that signed up just for the interest going from the tryouts and how many students were a part of the whole organization to even having an A, B, C team roster behind each club sport team. And from there, they've, they've succeeded on a national level. I think it's really cool to see that athletics, you know, even remotely cares about what we're doing here and they think that it's something that's worth supporting over the long term. And club sports is a really good way for them to show that to us. With funding and support from the university, the eSports Club was able to create a dedicated team game room where members can meet, practice, and discuss strategy. This room is like the holy grail of our teams that it allows them to really focus on what's at stake and what they need to work for. Think of it like as if you're practicing for a competitive baseball game in your backyard with pots and pans as the bases and a wiffle ball bat as not having this room. If we don't have this room, our teams can't practice to the level that they would be performing in competitions with good communication, with the focus and the mindset, like this is the room that you practice, this is where you just grind with your teammates. Even some programs now that have an established varsity program don't have an established room uh, dedicated space yet. We can hold events in here, the practices, the type of equipment that they use here is going to be better than the home laptop that they're going to be using and things like that. I think the most important thing of having a practice place is communication and team bonding. Imagine you're playing side by side, your communication is way more effective than playing online. I think esports is very similar to traditional sports. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat, it all takes place. I mean, there's tears, there's shouting, there's yelling, there's high-fiving, screaming. All the same elements you'd see in the Olympics or Super Bowl, you see in esports. Now you're seeing the need to create organized leagues very similar to the NCAA, complete with standards, uh, with rules, with guidelines, and scholarships. Now there's currently 200 colleges in the United States that are providing scholarships for esports players. Northeastern saw the value in beginning to lay the foundation for esports. They saw the growth potential. They see how having a, a large, over three to 400 member gaming club showed that the interest was there. 
and that the entertainment industry was moving and shifting towards this trend and that it was important to begin to start thinking about how to launch and deploy a program on campus. This industry is on the rise and people are making careers out of it. There's colleges that are investing in this and they're starting to make majors and course loads out of this. And I think that this is just the beginning. I think us being one of the leaders of this could continue to lead the industry and set us up for the future and maybe be one of the kingpin type institutions for esports where you have kids coming out of high school and saying, you know, I want to play esports in college, where do I go? Northeastern.